You guys, I'm about to head out to the grocery store um, to get everything that I that I need. Um, but first, I want to talk to you guys about this coat. And it's got green on the outside. It's kind of like that bomber style jacket, but in coat form. This coat is so warm. And it's like that oversized coat style. Like the coat is really oversized. And it goes like all the way down, kind of almost touching my knee all the way down here. I love this coat because it has eight, yeah, eight pockets. Two right here on each side, two right here. It's got adjustable sides right here, you can see. Also, more pockets right here. You don't even need to carry a purse when you're wearing this jacket or this coat. It's so nice and it's really affordable. You can buy it right on Amazon. I'll put the link down below and a coupon code for you guys. Um, a nice coupon code. Um, this video is sponsored, but of course all thoughts and opinions are my own this coat feels so comfortable and i wore it the other day i think in a video and i was getting a few questions people asking me where did you get this coat right on amazon and the, the inside of the hood feels so good it's like uh i don't know what this is cotton it's so soft as well and yeah it's super warm perfect for winter time and it comes in a ton of different colors tan black blue this color um like a maroon pink it's got so many different colors and yeah it's so 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 warm and it's really cute and it goes with everything and i love this style i got this one because it was my favorite but i'll have all the information down below if you guys want to purchase this coat um and a coupon code for you guys and yeah check out this coat if you're in the market looking for a new coat it's so warm and it comes in all sizes so yeah this one i got medium i'm a size medium and you can still see like it's oversized it's like a meant to be like that oversized style coat it's really 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 warm and comfy perfect for the weather right now in japan it's cold it's getting cold here and it's about to get a lot colder so this is the perfect coat and it's so stylish Ooh, and it goes with every over like a hoodie you know or I don't even have to. I can just have a shirt underneath because it's so warm. So yeah, check it out down below. And uh, let's get into the rest of the video. So you guys, I'm about to head to the grocery store. Um, I get a lot of questions about, like, you say you don't take medicine, so what do you do? So I'm going to show you guys everything I do instead of medicine. And... Everything I do, like, I've figured out natural cures for, like, everything. Partially because I used to live in China, and they do, like, holistic stuff. They don't really do medicine. Uh, they don't do medicine, honestly. Uh, majority. Um, they do natural, holistic things. More natural ways of curing uh, illness or just helping you wherever you need it. And alternatives to medicine. Ah, they're just numbing it. So if you have a headache... And you take Tylenol, the Tylenol is not curing your headache. It's not healing you. It's just numbing the nerves that kind of make you feel pain. So I don't do medicine because it's, in my opinion, I'll explain all that later. But let's just go to the grocery store first. I'm going to walk down, right uh, down the street. I have a grocery store. I'm going to head there. I went there the other day. At the grocery store. Okay. Oh, those are chestnuts.
You guys, I just got out of the grocery store. Now I'm headed towards uh, Sensoji because there's a katsu place that I want to get some food. <laughs> uh, it's a katsu place. Katsu kind of means uh, fried. So uh, it, they just fry a bunch of stuff for you. Yeah, there's a katsu place up here. And I really want some fried shrimp. <laughs> Because they had fried shrimp at the supermarket, but it wasn't prepared. So I was like, oh, you know what, I know where they, a place where they prepare it. And it's delicious, so that's where I'm going to go. Oh, I love those. Okay. So this way. I feel like a lot of tourists have went home. It's really nice out. The katsu place is just here. Oh, there's no sweet potatoes in there. Usually there's sweet potatoes in here. Let me check inside. Because sometimes they're inside as well. We have some. Are they cooked? They're cooked. Yeah. Um, okay, so food wise, <laughs> I told you guys I was craving katsu. So I went to that katsu place and I got three giant ebbies. which is deep fried and breaded shrimp. Ebi is how you say shrimp in Japanese. And then I went to Doki Ote and I got a hot sweet potato. They look like this. They look like this. If you guys have not tried Japanese sweet potatoes, there's a seam here, you just rip it, and then you stick the sweet potato up, you peel it, and you literally eat it like a burrito. Um, they're, they're so good. Japanese sweet potatoes, oh my gosh. You guys have to uh, come to Japan and try Japanese sweet potatoes. They're not like any other sweet potato around the world. Okay, and then from the grocery store, I love this grocery store. People are so nice. The girl asked me, she every time I go there, the girl tries to like spark conversation with me. She's so, so kind. So I got some seaweed. Um, I love to just wrap, make my own personal sushi. And I wrap, um, I've got sweet potato bread. It's like a snack. It's considered like a sweet here. Like it's a, I got some banana milk. I love Asian banana milk. I got some more Kewpie mayonnaise because I ran out. And um, I got my own two potatoes because there's a microwave here and I figure I can pop one of these in the microwave for like five minutes and make my own. I don't know. It's not going to be as good as the one that the uh, slow cooked, but, and then I got some, some more tea. Well, this is also what I got in the grocery store. Some sauteed vegetables. I love Asian sauteed vegetables. So that's what this is. Just some sauteed vegetables. And then I got two sushis. I've been in Japan for a month, right? I'm not going to eat out every day for a month. I love I love buying my own food, so I make my own food in my hotel room. Plus there's a microwave in here, there's a fridge, there's utensils, like it's you know very convenient for me to make my own food. So I'm gonna eat and then I'll come back. And I mentioned in my last video that I'm a huge watcher. I'm a huge 
a studier of everything that's why I travel so much it's not because um, I literally like grew up wanting to be a traveler I didn't at all and it's not even that like oh I've, I want to see the world I do want to see the world it's just like Mary Jane is information obsessed I'm obsessed with knowing things and I'm obsessed with like having correct information instead of popular information so I want to figure out everything in life by myself I don't want to just go along with what everybody else does or says so you get what I'm saying so that's why I'm a traveler it's not because oh I love doing touristy things I don't love doing touristy things I, I just am information obsessed like I will buy a I don't know anything and I'll sit there and read the back of it you know like and read every little and if I don't understand something I'll look it up like I'm just obsessed with information and I figured out the more I learn about life in general the more I realize whoa what everybody says or what everybody does is not always the right way or the correct way like so I'm like I guess it's up to me to figure out how I want to live my life on my own so that's just the uh, and the right way for me um, instead of what everybody else is doing so something I have figured out for myself is I realized wow when I first moved to Asia these people are so healthy like I remember when I first moved to China I lived right next to a school uh, a kids school an elementary school so little kids and I would see that the the only people to pick up the kids from school were old grandparents and I was like oh so grandparents pick up the kids from school and not parents and um, I learned that yeah in China uh, it's traditional for grandparents to raise the grandkids and the parents work so in China you're usually raised by your grandmother or your grandfather you're not really raised by your mom or your dad uh, mom and dad work in China and grandparents raise um, raise the kids and I was like wow this would never work in America because one we don't have longevity and uh, we don't have the longevity that the Asians have uh, where they live super long and even if they're living they're not in the healthy state that these Chinese old people were so I was doing so much research why are Chinese people like um, I and it was the first time I had saw I had witnessed um, adult parks I had never seen an adult park before uh, I didn't even know they existed but most parks are adult parks in China so you know when you see a playground uh, in America it's a kids playground usually you know it's monkey bars slides swings that's a kid thing to see an adult doing that it would be kind of weird and I think we would be kind of concerned in America if we saw a bunch of adults playing at the playground not in China most of the playgrounds are for older people like 50 years and older um, older people once you retire you just exercise all the time and I remember I'd walk past these parks all the time and it's just older people like like 50 60 70 80 90 years old people at these parks and they'd be doing um, ellipticals at the park they have like this thing that's like an elliptical that's a really popular one um, but it's not electric it's just like a you know kind of a bike that you move your legs and your arms they love that one there were mo monkey bars where you climb monkey you know there were uh, uh, there's everything at these parks and it's only old people there because the old people are the ones that have the free time uh, in China the adults work you work if you're you know you know uh, 30 40 you're working if you're a mom and a dad you're working the grandparents are the ones that have all the free time so while the kids are in school so it's very traditional why the kids are in school in China uh, the grandparents either walk around go to a park oh and I love I loved getting up at like 5 a.m. in China um, and if you get up around 5 a.m. you can see this in my old China videos um, all the old people go to the park 
and they do Tai Chi and they go in like they're doing serious Tai Chi they do sword Tai Chi regular Tai Chi you know without swords um, and they're just doing something they're extremely active and I always was like this was a whole new world for me and then when I moved to China I stayed in China for two years or a year and a half before I went back to America so I was in China straight for a year and a half or Asia because I was going around Asia and then I went back to America and it was like a huge like slap in the face of me realizing the major differences between America and maybe you know the east part of the world and I realized how many sick people there were in in in, in um in America and like just blown away and then just walking around America I realized oh my gosh there's a lot of sick people here uh, especially once you hit a certain age it's very normal for you to have it uh, not be able not being able to run or not being able to go to a park and and do monkey bars and do uh, all this all these things and I started to get really upset and that's when I became vegan and I got so obsessed with health health my family was so annoyed with me they were so annoyed because I didn't shut up about health I went on like as soon as I saw that difference I was like completely obsessed with oh my gosh I have to do something to change this like we're like ridiculously sick in this country and the health is not even a thing in this country and oh like older people go for 17 mile runs in the morning in Asia like 80 year olds most of them it's not like a, a small number of them do this no the majority of the 70 80 90 year olds in China are going on 17 mile runs at 5 a.m. in the morning are are, are um, <laughs> playing at playgrounds are raising the grandkids and I realized wow this could never be a thing in America because the reason that their grandparents are raising the kids or have the ability to is because they're so healthy they can run after small children literally the grandparents raise the babies too little babies little tiny babies they raise them So, you guys, I sound like a broken record all the time, but the, there's, God gave us things. He didn't put us on the earth with Adam and Eve, and then when he dropped Adam and Eve off at the garden, he wasn't like, all right, here's Tylenol, you're going to need that. It was, he didn't do that. He just dropped them off, and they were perfectly fine because he, gets, he gave us everything we need on this earth. We don't need these little constructed drugs that are made to keep you sick. Anyways, so, okay. One thing I think is an amazing, amazing, amazing fruit and all overall life hack is lemons. I have lemon water every day of my life unless I'm traveling because I can't get it at the airport. But if I'm about to go to an airport, I'll carry a canister and I'll put hot lemon water in it. Do you know how good lemon water is for you? Like the, 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 let me just Google some of the benefits. It's like one of those things. It's like gold lemons should really be sold for like a thousand dollars because that's the equivalent of how good they are for you it helps okay it's like a natural coffee it's an energy booster you don't need but you don't need coffee you don't need an energy booster if you do lemon um but if you're used to coffee it's not going to be strong enough for you but um yeah vitamin c so it prevents uh colds vitamin c it reduces your risk of cardiovascular disease, stroke, and lower blood pressure. Mm, that's something that's very prevalent in America too. Most people have high blood pressure or high cholesterol. Lemon water prevents that. But again, B12. 
be pre-active be proactive don't get yourself to the point where you're already sick and then you're like oh i want to be natural because it's, it's it's not going to be that easy but that's why i always try to preach health because i'm like you can you can get your body not to be that way so anyways and a lot of people like to discredit me and they say well you're only 24 that's why you're healthy health doesn't discriminate with age it really doesn't that's why michelle obama um was really focused on kids health because she saw how bad child health was in america so health doesn't discriminate it doesn't care how old you are it doesn't care how young you are it doesn't care if you're in your 20s it does not care health does not discriminate it literally i know a ton of 23 year olds who are not healthy or 24 year olds who are not healthy my birthday is on the 25th of december so that's why i keep switching i'm like do I call myself 23 or 24? I'm 24, I guess. It's the 5th. I'll be 24 in 20 days. So, I guess I call myself 24. Um, health does not discriminate. A lot of people say that because they're trying to discredit me because I'm speaking that truth. No. Health, it's not because I'm 23. Because how come when I was 18, I had terrible health? I couldn't run a mile. I had asthma. Um, I had terrible skin. I had a ton of health issues. Um, overweight, very, very, very overweight when I was 18. Um, always had, I always had some health issue. I was very unhealthy, very, very unhealthy. So my age has nothing to do with the fact that I'm healthy. It's because I do my research and, I, and I'm proactive. Okay, yeah, it supports weight loss because it detoxes, uh, it detoxes your gut. It improves your skin quality because it's constantly detoxing your blood and detoxing your body. It helps in digestion, which is huge for digestion because it's allowing your metabolism to work effectively. It freshens your breath because this is a detoxer. It kills bad bacteria. Um, it helps prevent kidney stones because it's detoxing. You see the common thing? It's a detoxer. It completely flushes and detoxes, which is everything, everything with your health. Um... Yeah, so it helps with heartburn. It helps with the enamel in your teeth. Um, it helps making your you alkaline. So it helps with um, vaginal issues. Some people, some women suffer from vaginal odor or excessive discharge or BV or all this stuff. It helps with that. It's literally a gold mine. So when I found that out, I literally did lemon water every day. Now I can't go throughout my day without having lemon water because I just feel like it's just a part of my routine. Every single day, every day, I have hot lemon water. I heat up water and make sure it's hot. And I do lemon water. That's the reason I never get sick. It, it, it's like a medicine all in one. You People go spend thousands of dollars on medicine, but you could have just been buying lemons your whole life. Okay, now, if I have a sore throat, which I never really have, but sometimes I do, I'll do honey. Honey and lemon. Um, I really try to find a good honey. I got this honey. I got two of them the other day at the farmer's market here in Japan. This is cherry blossom honey. But any honey. You know, just honey in general is very, very good for you, but not too much because it's got a lot of sugar in it and it's not good. But I'll do, uh, like, say my, I feel a cold coming on or I feel, uh-oh, I don't feel that well. I'll do my hot water, but I'll put a spoonful of honey inside the water. Coats your throat, heals your throat, very good for you. And it's uh, anti-inflammatory as well. Okay, so what else do I do for health? If my body doesn't feel good, so for example, say I had the full, for example, I will take a hot bath with Epsom salt. That also kind of opens up your pores, makes you sweat, which is another detoxer. You'll s sweat out the cold. Um, I couldn't find Epsom salt, but I got this. This is the... I know you guys can't read well, if you're not Japanese. You probably can't read this, so I don't know if it's worth showing. But this is a... Okay, let me read it. It's it's a bath. Yeah, it's basically the same thing as Epsom salt. It's a bath soak. So you put it in your bath and then you soak and it's made to make you sweat. This one says it prevents, um, like if you're having pain, 
yeah so if you have back aches pains uh stiff neck uh, that's what it says if you're having a stiff neck put this in a bath and uh just lay in a hot bath so this but Epsom salt is usually what I use. And I'll just let myself soak in a bath. And I will feel better that same night. Like, there's nothing that can happen to me where I don't have something I can do for it that I don't need medicine. Um, also, if I have a headache, lavender is everything. I usually have lavender oil. And I'll put lavender oil on my wrist, wrist, neck, under my nose. And I'll literally go to sleep. Or I'll put on my pillow as well, lavender. It completely heals my headache, but that's a nice lavender scent, so they smell like lavender. I got the lavender one, and they heat up hot. So if I I never have headaches because I drink so much water. I literally drink a gallon of water every day. I have this, which I'm not finished yet, but I also have a giant one. That I'll show you. This. I drink one of these. Or more than one of these every day. I drink a gallon of water, so I never have headaches because I drink so much water. Headaches are when your nerves tighten up really tight, and my nerves don't do that because I drink so much water. So I'm I'm constantly like hydrating the nerves in my body. Um, lack of water is the main cause of headaches, but I know headaches can also come from other things. But I I can't remember the last time I had a headache. I might get a headache two or three times a year, but when I do get them, um, <sighs> lavender oil, or that's why I love these because it's like it's the same thing but in an eye patch form, and it heats up. The second you put it on your eyes, it heats up, and you fall asleep in seconds. What headache? So what are other things people ask me about? So I don't headache period cramps. Um, I will put a hot compress or I'll so say I have an app called clue that tells me when my period's coming so I will drink I know I drink a lot of water already I'll drink twice the amount of water before my period and it completely relieves my cramps I found that out water if you drink a ton of water before your period you your cramps don't because also period cramps are your nerves tightening they're tightening because they're trying to push out you know what a period is, right? It's when women prepare every month to have a baby. And your body, once it sees that you didn't have a baby, uh, it had those eggs fertilized in your uterus. And it's getting, and it was, the, the walls every 28 days are thickening of your uterus to support a baby. So after the, uh, after the 28 days when your body sees that there's no baby to fertilize, or um, an egg to fertilize, it will get rid of the thickening walls and you know, it, it will get rid of all that. So, what's happening, why, why periods are so, um, why periods are so painful is because your body is having contractions um, to get rid of the thickening wall that happens every month for women. We go through a lot, what's wrong, jeez. But yeah, so your walls thickened of your uterus and your body's shedding that outer wall. And so your body's forcing yourself to have contractions to get rid of that. And that's why there's so much blood coming out. It's because the walls of your uterus are being torn out. Um, and that is, contractions are when your nerves are being tightened. So when you drink a ton of water, you are, that process is happening a lot smoother. So your cramps are not going to be as bad. I got you covered, girl. What you need? Do a natural remedy. If you're having an allergic reaction, go to the hospital. Go to the doctor. I do not want to be responsible for anybody. Something happening to somebody because they said, I don't feel good, but Mary Jane told me. I don't want to be responsible for that. No, 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 no. I figured out how my own body works. And I figured out for me how to heal anything I have going on. But please do not be stupid, okay? If you have... I'm just saying you don't need to pop pills every two seconds, okay? But if you have an allergic reaction, go to the doctor. I do not want to be responsible for anybody. Uh, okay, I'm just telling you what I do. Um, but look, <clears throat> if you're willing and it's not that bad, um, <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. But um, yeah, if you're willing, um, when you're having an allergic reaction, but allergic reactions could be anything, you know? But I guess the one my mom was having was she was cleaning her room she was cleaning areas of her room that she hadn't cleaned in a while so she was getting a lot of dust 
I heard her I, I heard her for a couple hours keep coughing like <coughs> because she was cleaning her room and she hadn't cleaned the areas of her room that areas she was cleaning in a long time so a lot of dust was being kicked up in her face and that's what made her have that allergic reaction so something like that I think um, tea tree oil is amazing it is super concentrated so be careful you don't want to put too much tea tree oil because it can burn you but tea tree oil is amazing for um, allergic reactions I just put some in a towel put the hot towel ring wrung it out and then put it on her eyes and it completely got rid of it also cold showers are amazing um, if you're having an allergic reaction because it will shock your body and reverse the re allergic reaction but you have to make the water freezing I can't stress that enough a lot of people say I've been doing lukewarm showers and no it has to literally be like <laughs> where you're doing that where like you literally are you can't even breathe because it's that cold that's the type of cold you need to, to do the cold showers for them to be effective um, and that will help with allergic reactions as well I remember once I ate something and I must have been allergic to something I ate I don't even know what caused it but I literally hopped in a cold shower and immediately it stopped um, and yeah like I say, be proactive. Proactively, I take cold showers. That helps my body um, detox all the time. It keeps me healthy. It keeps me uh, having natural energy where I don't have to, you know, be um, anything. So anyways, those are the things I do for health. Um, the things I could think of. I always have a natural remedy for everything. And guess what? I have not been to doctors and I'm never afraid and even if I'm in a random country by myself and I don't even know how I would get to a hospital if something happened, I'm confident because I'm very, okay, very educated, okay, because usually I'm taking care of myself. There's not usually anybody to take care of me. I'm always by myself all the time. So I've kind of got it all down packed. I figure it out how to take care of myself because I have to because I'm always alone. So nonetheless, if something did happen like life-threatening some countries I am by myself if I'm honest <laughs> um, but uh, there's always a hospital so but I never needed it anyways the last time I was in the hospital was when I was in Boston years ago so this video is so long and I've talked enough I'll see you guys in my next video bye